day two of our excursion here. We just left Chris's place about an hour ago, topped off our fuel, and we're driving to the rest of Oklahoma on our way into Texas. Yeah, nine hours on one highway. Nine I hours on one highway. We have no plan for tonight. We had a couch show set up, but he had to do something on business, so he canceled us. So we're just gonna drive until I get tired and see what we can find on the way because there's not gonna be much going on here. So this video will probably be cut into two different videos. There won't be a lot of exciting stuff. So I'll just film every time I see something cool and we'll put that together later on. But uh, we'll probably do today and tomorrow together maybe, unless there's some really, really cool stuff that maybe I'll make two different videos. But uh, that's the start of day two. Thanks for watching. the best view we've gotten in Oklahoma so far. It's mostly been flat and kind of mid midwestern looking until we got to Oklahoma City. <laughs> but around here it's getting pretty nice. Welcome to Texas. Drive friendly. The Texas way. Alright. We'll see how that is. See for miles. Can't see that in Yeah, see that's beautiful right there. <laughs> I love the way, uh, like I remember this in Wyoming where clouds would fly over and you could see the shadow of the clouds move. And then you look up and you see the clouds moving. It's There's really just cool. so much land, it seems like. They're really not kidding. Everything really is big in Texas. <laughs> okay, we're here at a Phillips 66 just outside of Amarillo, Texas. And I'm just going to say this right now. Evansville, Indiana has the most expensive gas in the country that we've come across so far. I mean, I know it's going to be more expensive on the West Coast and everything, but we just got gas for $1.92 here, and it stayed above, or below $2.05 almost the whole trip, and we've even gotten as cheap as $1.85. Uh, we've only filled up maybe five times on this trip. We have a small tank in this car. And Liz just pumped gas, and we just filled up almost from E for $14.42. So, yeah, use the Gas Buddy app. It's awesome. You can help plan your trip and know what you're going to pay ahead of time. Plus, uh, as you're going, you can find cheap gas. Uh, definitely, I'll, I'll try to put a link in the description for Gas Buddy if I can. If you look over there, there's a military helicopter, a Huey. I've never seen one in person. That's pretty cool. Liz noticed it. I've seen a Chinook before, but I've never seen a human person. That's pretty cool. It's bigger than I thought it would be. This is awesome. This is the official Texas right here. Oh, goodness. It goes forever. And here we are. We are coming up on New Mexico. This will be my, what, 28th state? Land of enchantment. <laughs> Let's find out how mystical New Mexico is. Okay, the windshield's a bit blurry. Haven't filmed for a while, like a couple hours. But uh, this is still New Mexico. And I just wanted to show you guys how long this go road goes. Liz took a nap a little bit ago. And while she was sleeping, I saw one similar to this, but it just went straight. You just saw the road keep going and going. But yeah, it's pretty much been the same scenery like this for a while. Now we're caught up to these mountains. These are the mountains you just saw off in the distance down that long stretch of road. And uh, not too bad. It's getting real green around here. I was kind of surprised at that. Okay, we're at the Flying J just outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I love Flying J's. Um, they got the Denny's and clean bathrooms and you can take a shower here if you wanted to and they've got a barber shop at this one and there's a Cinnabon. So I'm going to show you guys this and then I'm going to show you this awesome view. Check out that awesome view. We just drove through those mountains. This is the back side of what you just saw. We've got a little over an hour to go till we get to Galilee, Mexico, and that's where we're gonna try to find a place to stay. We have a place in mind. There we go, now that we got the windshield cleaned up right, this stupid rental car didn't have any wiper fluid in it. Now you guys can see this a little bit better. 
This is awesome. And this is just maybe five or six miles past that Fly K. Okay, we're in uh, Days Inn in uh, Gallup, New Mexico. We're staying the night here. It was pretty cheap, like 40 bucks a night, continental breakfast. Won't be staying at too many hotels on this trip, but that's what we were left with on this one. So, uh, 10 hours of driving. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow when we go to Navajo Nation and the Grand Canyon.